Hi, welcome to Batch and Print Pro. Now to get started with Batch and Print Pro, say if you've got your files here and you want to put them into the software here, what you can do, you can left mouse, drag and drop the files in. It will automatically expand any zip files or RAR files and also any linked files. You can just select what files you want to drag and drop. You can drag and drop them in. You can drag and drop folder files as well. So for example, I've got two files in there. I can just drag and drop that in so I can add to this. And I can reorganize how I want. So I can either go on to, for example, the create a date and just sort on that. I can manually move uh, files around by just left mouse click and then drag and then drop to where I want it to be. There's lots and lots of sort options in the sort menu for different types of sorting on file names. So once you're ready, you just click print. It will send it to your default printer. You can change that in the file menu printer setup to whatever you want. So if I now go on to the printer, you'll see that the files are been sent there. So you can print many different file types with this software, like all office types, PDF, HTML documents, zip files, RAR files, any window associated files ready to print. So once it's complete, as you can see, there's 20 items there, 19 there. That is because one of them has a corruption error. We're showing uh, like a pink highlight, so you know. There's also a log of all the files printed in the print log view print log and you can export a list of what's printed as well by going onto file menu export log or you can just go into logs and reports generate print report on current list which is just sit on that current list there which will actually create a csv file of all the files and page numbers and totals and everything so that's a quick guide on how to do simple batch printing from a list you can also use this to do folder monitoring in the background as well so i'll quickly show you how to do that so I'm just going to clear this. So I'm going to action menu, clear all. Go into options, direct to monitor setup. Now in here, there's many options. I'm just going to activate monitoring. It's just going to do a simple monitor this in folder here. So I'm going to put that in my monitor path. I'm going to select this printer. You can choose a different printer if you want to. So for example, I'm going to select this Rico. Cancel all those prints. If you leave it blank, it'll print any file type. But if, if you say put .pdf, then it will match on that anywhere in the file name. You can also do a pipe to example XLS, which will match on that as well. Or say if you just want to print it files with just the name account in it, you can do that. So you can do it like that, and it's case sensitive. Account and then all PDF, for example. Click on add to list, click OK. So that's now set up ready. I'm just going to save and exit. You can have multiple monitor folders. You, know, you can have actually up to a thousand. So I'm going to put a PDF in here now, ready to print. So as you can see, it's picked up straight away to print. The file is still there. You can move it afterwards in monitor if you want to, but because it's actually logging the print it doesn't repeat print it it checks the file name byte size and the created and modified date if any of those mismatch then it will reprint it so for example if i put um invoice one two three it should pick that up now and print that file to the printer so it's that simple to set up there's lots of information in the help there's two different types of help there's standard help with all the features and everything and there's a walkthrough guys which include videos and how to use batch and print pro so for example if i go drag and drop a print there's a video there if i go on to print http file there's a video there for example so you can download a free trial from our website just download it give it a try any problems get in touch